Hello Lillas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and also join the Chatterbox. The Chatterbox is $1.99. To join, you have to do it, be at least 18 years old. And yeah, voila. So I am here with Jelly Bean and Elijah Jacoby. And uh, Jelly Bean is the Missy Sculpt by Natalie Blick. And Elijah Jacoby is the Sandy Skip Sandy Kit by Joanna K. Um I he's like you got me on the camera mommy <laughs> cuz you you don't like the film me. <laughs> but um I'm going to change him into uh a little outfit with a hat and hopefully he fits it. Um he is a little tiny little something. But I st I'm still going to say he's one years old now. Um, da, 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 da. Sorry. I'm nosy. I had to peek out the window. Um, yeah, so I'm going to still say he's one years old. And, but yeah, he's a, he's a, uh, he's a little something. So he literally can fit three to six months and zero to three months. And I know we've already been down that road of the controversy of how can you make a toddler that it's such small sizes um this is pretty big on him but i wanted him to wear it uh i might get in the light a little bit let me see but i'll move out the way I, i'm gonna tell you guys what size this is and of course he's bald like most of my babies are this is a three to six months, and as you can see, it's really big in this area for him. Um, she probably would fit it better because his body is petite and he's she's wider. But this is boy, so I won't put this on her. But yeah, um, he yeah he's he's he definitely fits a smaller size, and like his head is as small as her head, and. I don't know. It's just weird like that. Um, yeah. But I don't know how long he's going to stay bald. He may stay bald for another year. <laughs> he may never get rooted. I don't know. Um, and I think I'm okay with that. I am kind of winding down with the whole uh, paint and vinyl to wait for it to get rooted I'm slowly slowly slowing down but I have so many cute kits be coming out and I I just can't help myself I'd be wanting to paint them so eventually either I'm gonna have to learn how to root or I'm gonna have to just stop painting vinyl all together and just focus on my silicone painting which I don't mind because I would love to really practice more with the uh, the silicone painting or whatever just to get better at it but I love vinyl but I can always buy my vinyl babies uh, well I can't say always because they're getting just as pricey as silicone but um one of the things I want you guys to be aware of too, and I've been thinking of this. I've never talked about it, but I seen, I finally seen seen it happen. Um, it happened long time ago before, but that was. I'll get into that a little bit. Just I'll touch on it briefly, but um, a lot of times people will be like, "Oh, I know so and so roots and oh, this person can root for you." There's a lot of different risk factors with just sending out my baby's heads. For me, sometimes people, um, some people keep your heads for like a long, long time. I know people that was waiting on their babies to be rooted for like a year or so. And um, also, like, I don't want to, I ain't going to say that. I, I don't want to say that because you know, I don't want people to feel some type of way. But, um... And then, of course, there's always the 
the risk of something happening like uh sometimes people use heating lamps and stuff like that and you know or they melt the head or um whatever the case you know the dog chew it up that's always risk you don't hear about it as much but that's always a possibility but the main thing that i was concerned about was the fact that people um are now so into cuddle babies before it was like okay i got the body i'm just sending you the head so i don't have to worry about it so much because there's really not much you can do with just the head but now that uh her nails are so pretty now that people are so into cuddle babies they don't need the body because they will just take that head and use it as a cuddle baby and so um it's more risk for scams that way and i hate it i really hate it um but that's i mean that's just one of the possibilities oh why am i tripping i was just gonna say you don't need a hat but i forgot this outfit came with a little cute little hat i think it's reversible but i don't know but go but um so yeah so someone sent out their their doll and they didn't get the the uh head back and so that's i've always feared that happening um not with rooters that i've used as you know reputable but trying someone new or somebody I don't know, not familiar in the community. That's another thing. Like a lot of people, I'm, I'm all for trying, you know, new artists and giving people a chance. But when people don't really have a presence within the community, like they don't post regularly, they don't interact with no one in the community. That's alarming for me or a little, give me a little pause when I deal with them because if you if you're really in this community and you're providing like services or you know you're selling that means at some point you must be be buying or something so i've never seen you in any groups I, you don't post any dolls on your page a lot of people don't post on their page they like to just post in groups because it's their personal facebook page that's why i always recommend that people you know get their uh get them a separate account dolly account but when you when you don't have no type of real interaction with other people it, it and then you're selling something or and especially if people are offering something at a very low price you're like okay i can root for and that's another thing people make a big mistake for with just buying in general buying and anything people do anything for pr price a lower price people will sell their soul to the devil for a lower price um it's definitely proven over and over again um if somebody else is offering uh let's say and i'm not saying that's what's the case for this the last incident that i seen but if somebody say oh i can root it for 150 dollars they be like oh i'm going to her don't know nothing about her she show you some bogus pictures or whatever but you trying to save that little 200 dollars, and next thing you know you don't you don't lost your whole head to your baby that's the kind of foolishness that i'm talking about that you know it's just like really so um i rather pay the extra for that but you you just gotta be careful with that and then um yeah and sometimes uh people will hold your stuff there like just i guess they enjoy it for themselves for a while <laughs> i don't know but i just yeah i so anyway it's just so much goes on with it so i'm trying to you know an old friend told me long time ago when i first started painting she said eventually you need to learn how to do everything yourself because the more you allow you have to depend on other people it's going to affect you overall and stuff and so now i'm starting to really see that so i'm trying to um get to a point where i can do 
my stuff myself. Um, even with like my little personalized items, I have a goal to learn how to embroider and stuff next year, maybe. Um, I don't think it's gonna happen this year. This year is so busy. But next year I'm gonna buy me a embroidery machine and I'm gonna learn how to I'm gonna learn how to sew and embroider. I'm gonna take a class or something or have my one of my aunts or somebody show me how to teach me how to so that I can learn and he looks so cute in this. Um look at his little cell. I love his little legs. It's just it's just the legs for me. Um, so that I can do stuff myself. But yeah, you just have to be careful with that type stuff. Um, especially now with like the silicone heads, all these cuddle silicone heads, sending them off to people if you don't know them or like I said, they don't have no type of reputation. You gotta be careful, 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 careful. It is so risky. Um nowadays so and people people scam they scam for stupid reasons like i don't know but you know like instead of trying to scam somebody out of something say the person wanted a doll or something like that why don't you root to pay for the doll but maybe they really can't root for real but i mean it's other things you can do um, start blinging out pacifiers, sell pacifiers and stuff. I remember when I first came to the community, I was like, I need to find something I can do to make money so I could buy these, afford to buy these dolls because I didn't make a whole lot of money back then. I still don't. Um, I definitely don't now, but, um, I didn't make a lot of money to, um, be able to afford these dolls. And that was way back when. They were like $350 a doll or for Reborns and $500. That's what the prices were when I first came into the community. And I was trying to figure out like how I, I was buying so much until I was trying to figure out like how could I make extra money besides working overtime on my job to, you know, be able to afford these dogs and I'm like dang what can I do which I have zero talents um so it was like I actually said to myself gosh I just I don't have no type of talents like I can't sew I can't paint I can't do nothing and um I was like maybe I can make shirts or something and you know I was just coming trying to think of some bracelets what can I do but yeah it's people that bling out pacifiers and bottles and sippy cups and People do shirts and all type of stuff they sell and stuff and pay for, you know, whatever, even if it's not the dolls. But, you know, in this case, I'm talking dolls, but you can make money that way or whatever. If you know how to paint or you think you can paint and you learn how to paint, you can paint, you know, once, say, for instance, you only like collecting silicone, but you, you know, want to paint vinyl to pay for your silicone or you only like vinyl to, but to learn to paint silicone, pay for your vinyl. I don't know. Like, you know, find other ways, honest ways other than to scam people. That is so trifling. Like people out here working so hard for their money. And not only are, you know, everybody's in the struggle a little bit right now. You know, it's a lot of inflation with everything, gas, clothes food everything has gone up um dolls <laughs> um so it's you know it, it's it's definitely like hard times for everybody but that don't give you the right to go and steal from someone and one thing about it is a lot of times when you do that you lose double the amount um i never did tell y'all the story long story short years ago a lot of this was an artist that was doing um she's still around but she was doing customs for people and taking a lot of private orders and a lot of people had sent them their heads, their dolls, all that stuff. And then after a while, she just stopped. And um, there was rumors that there was some domestic issue went on with her or something like that. But she eventually just came online and told people to file a claim and let PayPal pay them back for it because it was nothing she can do. 
And so people basically lost their doll heads. They didn't get their money back. Some of them didn't get their money back. It was just a mess. So, um, you know, scamming ain't nothing new to this community, but they have gotten a little bit more tricky and they have, got, you know, started doing different scams. But yeah, you just have to be careful. And that's why to don't, don't get discouraged and frustrated if an artist is skeptical about dealing with you at first or they kind of like be hesitant um, because after a while, you know, as you somebody will give you a chance and as you interact and move around in the community, then it will be different. And I know some people are private collectors and they don't post like they don't have YouTube, they don't have they don't post on Facebook and all that. But like some people actually, all they do is like comment or they're very active, like commenting and interacting on other people's posts and stuff. But they just like, they're not YouTubers or anything like that. Cause you can't expect everybody to do that. Eventually people be like, oh, she's been around like for years commenting and stuff like that or whatever. And if you buy dogs from people and eventually one person give you a chance, another person, you have references like, hey, I know you don't see a profile with me, but I bought from this person, that person, this person, that person, and no problems at all. That that helps too. So anyway, that's all I got. Um, I was going to put her in blue, but she's just, I don't want to change her right now. So uh, she's going to stay in her pink and white. I do, like I dress her off camera as you can see and she sits in my room in a little rocker chair thing. And um, he sits in the toddler corner. I'm eventually gonna put her in um, Bridget. Bridget actually is over in the toddler corner for right now because Bryson is coming over and he's gonna be in that walker so she can't sit in the walker where she was. So, but I'm gonna eventually put all of my bigger babies in the toddler corner. Um, and I'm going to try to have very less babies in my bedroom because <laughs> right now I have like probably about seven or eight babies in my bedroom and then like seven or eight or nine or ten in here and then, you know, it's just getting crazy. So, um, yeah, but I'm definitely going to be selling off. I know this is a long video, but I'm going to be selling, um, prototype today is available for um you can reserve her but she won't be available for at least another two weeks to go home i'm getting her box opening together i'm finishing up some final things with her um i will do a video of her when everything is done done um but i will continue to share pictures of her i am you know if you reserve her with a deposit of course you know she's gonna be need to be paid off when she's finished type situation or you know you can contact me and we'll talk about that um i have one other i have one other a cuddle head that i am going to paint that's going to be available for, for sale not sure if i'm going to root it probably going to offer it as a ball baby and i will not be painting cuddle babies anymore unless it's like a prototype type situation. Otherwise, I will not be painting proto uh, cuddle babies anymore. I am moving on and getting back into my full bodies because that's what I enjoy painting the most. Um, I will be painting a few cuddle, cuddle babies or yeah, I have a few that I'm painting for myself, but that's for myself. But otherwise, I will not be doing cuddle babies beyond here. Um, and I don't, I'm not, I, maybe I'll do a separate video and, and get into details of why, but I don't think there's no explanation needed. I just, I'm moving on with my full bodies and that's that. So, um, that's all I got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed getting, uh, Elijah dressed. I don't foresee him ever leaving here. I mean, it, it could happen, but eh, I think he just needs to stay here with me. <laughs> um, so, 
I'm going to be an old lady in the shoe. I'm still thinking I'm going to keep Gigi. So I just, I don't know. I'm just caught up with my collection now. Later.